Okay, let's prepare to solve this problem. Okay, we're told that a LASIK vision correction system uses a laser that emits 10 nanosecond pulses of light, each containing 2.5 millijoules of energy. Now actually, let's jump to part A. What is the average power of each laser pulse? Well, for part A, the power is just equal to delta E over delta T. That's always true. And let's just go ahead and calculate that, okay? The energy of each pulse is 2.5 millijoules, 2.5 times 10 to the minus 3 joules. The time of the pulse is 10 nanoseconds, 10 times 10 to the minus 9th seconds. And so we end up with a power of 250 kilowatts. Okay, 250 kilowatts, or 2.50 times 10 to the fifth watts. Now, that's a huge amount of power. Okay, it's a huge amount of power. And we know that must be true because it's a tiny, it's a reasonable amount of energy in a very, very short time. And so we expect a huge power. In fact, it is huge. And that plays into the next part of the problem, which is this. What is the electric field strength of the laser light at the focus point? Now, notice this. This power is focused into a tiny, tiny circle. Okay, so let's look at part B. Part B says this. All that laser light is focused into a tiny circle, 0.85 millimeters across, so 0 0.00085 meters in diameter. That's how big the circle is. 2.5 times 10 to the fifth watts gets focused into that tiny circle. And so the intensity which is the power divided by the area, is going to be very, very large indeed. We expect a very, very large intensity. The area is just pi r squared. And if we work out, the radius is equal to one half of this. If I work out what the area is, it's 5.67 times 10 to the minus 7th square meters. Okay, so the power is 2.5 times 10 to the fifth watts divided by the area, which is 5.67 times 10 to the minus seventh square meters. And so the intensity is quite large indeed. So we get an intensity of 4.41 times 10 to the 11th watts per square meter. By the way, I'm keeping an extra significant figure um, at this intermediate stage of the calculation to uh, avoid rounding errors. So we got a huge, huge, huge intensity. And now we're going to solve for the electric field. And the electric field is related to the intensity via this expression right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and jump over to the solve portion. We know from the chapter that the intensity is equal to one half times C times epsilon zero times the magnitude of the electric field squared. Okay, so we can solve this for the strength of the electric field. We know the intensity, we know the speed of light. This epsilon zero is a fundamental constant. Let's just solve this expression for the electric field strength. The electric field strength is equal to the square root of two times the intensity divided by C times epsilon zero, okay? Now, we know everything in this expression, okay? The intensity is 4.41 times 10 to the 11th watts per square meter. We calculated that. This epsilon zero is something we learned about a long time ago. It's 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12th. Cool. Okay, and then C is the speed of light. We know what that is. That's 3.0 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. And so we have everything we need in this expression. And so we can calculate a magnitude for the electric field. And if we do that, we get an electric field magnitude of 1.8 times 10 to the seventh newtons per coulomb. That is a very, very strong electric field.
So to sum up, part A, the power of the pulse, 2.5 times 10 to the fifth watts, part B, the magnitude of the electric field in each pulse, 1.8 times 10 to the seventh newtons per coulomb. Let's do an assessment. We're using the laser to ablate layers of the cornea. So we expect this to be a pretty dramatic process. It's actually a relatively modest amount of energy, but it's in a very, very short time, and so we get a huge power. And it goes into a very, very tiny circle, and so we have a very, very large intensity. The intensity is related to the strength of the electric field. So for a very large intensity, we expect a very large electric field. The result we get is actually larger than the electric field necessary to ionize air. So this is a very large electric field indeed. And so our answer says that if you can do something dramatic, like ablating layers of someone's cornea, you're going to need a very, very large power, a very, very large intensity, and so therefore a very large electric field. And so our answer matches our expectations of how the world works.